Hello, Victoria. Hello, Andre. Добрый день, Андрей. So there is a green wave going now on in Slovakia. Tsunami. Yes, I'm one of the persons who started this wave, and I was inspired by you. I read your book Green for Life. Uh huh. Good. So, my question is, are there any downsides from a long-term 100% raw vegan diet? You know, Andre. Yes, there are downsides. Uh, I think that raw food is wonderful. It is healthy, but you cannot go 100% raw for very long. For different people, it lasts for different time. For example, um, if people have lots of nutrition in their life, they probably accumulated enough nutrients in the body, they could last maybe for two years without any side effects, without problem. But um, some people are not very healthy, for them two months would be enough. Uh, unfortunately, my family made a big mistake. We went on the raw food diet, we felt wonderful, and we decided from now on to the rest of the life, eat only 100% vegan, 100% raw food, that was a mistake. So, so what, what are the mistakes people make? So 100% is not yeah, good? Yeah, it's not good to be fanatical about anything. Um, I wanted all the animals to be alive, I didn't want to hurt animals. Yes. And uh, I wanted, from human side, I wanted to be um, kind. Mm -hmm. And so I decided we're not going to eat animals. That was a mistake. I understand now that we do need animal food. We need to eat animal food. Um, if you don't want to hurt animals, you can eat chicken eggs. Mm -hmm. So chicken egg is a good alternative? Yes, but only if it's not coming from the commercial factory. Mm -hmm. it, has, it must come from a farm where chickens are grazing on the pasture. And how many eggs a day or a week um, you can I recommend? I eat one egg twice a week and I eat them raw. And also I uh, eat a little bit of fish. Um, I, stay, I think 60 to 100 grams of fish and I just boil it for 10 minutes in the water with herbs without salt um, one or two times a week. So with this supplementing of uh, animal ingredients? Yes. You, you, can, you can cover your need for My need, yes, but some people might need more. If it's a child, child needs more. Um, but, if it's an athlete, they need more. Uh, but but co cover the, the... The basic the, the basic for omega-3 and B12? Yes, omega-3, B12, uh, vitamin A, not better carotene, but vitamin A, choline, and the, the whole list of other nutrients. Vitamin D. So, but if we still have people who, from religious or other reasons, they don't want to eat animal uh, food, so what are the best uh, alternatives? Oh. Mahatma Gandhi was trying to do it from religious uh, position, uh, together with 22 other people, mm -hmm. and uh, they were not been able to do that. Mm -hmm. If you read his work, he says that Anybody who says that humans need to eat vegan food, uh, they are enemies of India. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really respect Mahatma Gandhi. Also, I was very stubborn and I was trying to live on a vegan diet uh, with supplements and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I want to change the theme. Longevity, yes? Longevity. Longe longe longevity. 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 So, we want to get 100 years old, mm -hmm. but in full mental and physical health. Mm -hmm. So you have done some research yes. on this theme. So what can you tell me about the way of life of people who are 100 and uh, older? When I was re researching uh, how he humans need to eat, um, and I was so confused that raw food diet didn't work for my family, that the medical doctors couldn't tell me the books don't give the answer. Um, I was thinking, how can I find out what humans need to eat? I decided to go to the places where people live to be 100 years old and to see what their diet is. And um, 
at that time I uh, ran into the scientific work of uh, Ukrainian chemist mm -hmm. Nikolai Druziak. Mm -hmm. He wrote 800 page research about um, people who live to be 100 years in so-called blue zones. Mm -hmm. Uh, blue zones were the concentrated popularity of uh, people. And he spent 23 years of his life trying to find out what is the common denominator. And finally he found that it was the low level of calcium in the water they drink. Um, so, so now I have a distiller mm -hmm. and uh, I only drink distilled water because I don't want calcium. Also, to be able to have good brains, you need to consume greens every single day. And I recommend that you drink it in the form of green smoothie, mm -hmm. because if you eat greens, not everybody likes the taste. For example, I didn't like the taste of greens in the beginning, and you cannot eat half a kilo of greens every day. It's yeah. difficult. Uh, you don't have time. Uh, chimpanzees spend six hours every day eating greens. Mm -hmm. Do you have six hours? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. But if you blend it in a blender, it takes uh, under two minutes to prepare it. And then you just drink it and you have it. Yes. And greens are essential for thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, without, without greens, you cannot have cognitive thinking because there is a carotenoid called lutein in greens. Mm -hmm that uh, there is a thousand times more concentration in the brain than in the rest of the body because uh, lutein is necessary for cognitive thinking. Again, I spoke about this in my lectures that you uh, people could watch on, uh, on your yes, site. Yes, because we, we could, we could uh, prolong this interview for, I think, five hours, mm -hmm. but uh, I just want to make a, an appetizer. Mm -hmm. So uh, who wants to see the whole lecture, so it will be on our channel, uh, Andre Vitarian on YouTube. Thank you very, very much for coming, Victoria, and I hope to see you next year in Bratislava. My pleasure. My pleasure. I would love to come back. Thank you very much. Goodbye.